There has been quite a lot of excitement on the fact that the government is going to roll back on increasing the salary threshold requirements for the family visa from £38,700 as initially announced earlier this month to £29,000 starting from spring 2024. Now, I've been hearing a lot of people you know, share their thoughts, share their excitement, share their comments on this and I've discovered that so many people actually have um, a misconception or they've got the information uh, they've misread the information and i've seen people saying oh thank god yeah, we just need it from 38,700 pounds to 29,000 pounds now the truth is they are reducing that salary threshold for the family visa that's for those who are applying for the spousal visa or through the family visa route if you're still trying to get a skilled worker visa in the united kingdom this reduction in salary threshold has no impact on you they're still sticking to the 38,000 700 pounds as initially announced for the skilled worker visa now i'm going to share with you all of the things being you know recently announced a couple of hours ago in relation to the reduction in salary threshold i'm also going to share with you the thoughts of the brits in regards to this information that just came to light a couple of hours ago so if you decide as something you like to know don't go anywhere keep watching to the end and if you're coming across my channel for the first time do hit the subscribe button to join the amazing going family and my channel subscribers thank you guys for being here i really do appreciate you guys so without further ado Let's get right into the video. This major change in reducing uh, the salary threshold requirement for the family visa is only going to affect those who have got indefinite leave to remain in the UK or those who have become, who are actually citizens of the United Kingdom. So for so many of us that are still under the pre-settlement visa categories, like the student visa, the skilled worker visa, the global talent visa, the health and care visa, all of the visa categories I just mentioned, are not going to be affected or they are not going to enjoy the benefit of this reduced in salary threshold requirements so basically we see people who are on you know the student visa saying oh ah that means i can actually get a job that pays twenty nine thousand and then apply for you know the, the skilled worker visa no this reduction is only applicable to those who are applying for the spousal visa under the family visa route so it's very important for me to actually clarify that so yeah the home office um minister lord chappelle um you know confirmed the changes in answer to a written parliamentary question on Thursday which was um, yesterday so they've officially you know um, also announced that this salary threshold is not going to affect um, those who are bringing their spouse or their spouse into the UK because of course the legal you know implication and you know um, the human rights implication of that decision because they believe that if this particular policy has been passed into law it means that thousands of families in the uk will have to split because of so many households or you know so many people will be able to meet up with the salary threshold requirement so yeah they've reduced it to 29,000, which is really exciting and yeah there was an analysis i actually watched on you know jb news and i felt it's important for you guys to also watch so it gives more context to the information and on plans to hike the family visa salary threshold to 38,700 pounds well earlier this month the home secretary james cleverly told the commons uh, that the threshold for a family family visa would rise from £18,600 to £38,700 next spring with the aim of reducing the number of people coming into the UK. But now it will increase to £29,000 instead in the spring. Yeah, and this comes as the government has been warned that its ban on overseas care staff bringing dependents to the UK is catastrophic. Well, GB News' political correspondent Catherine Forster has more. In fact, before we have more, can you explain what's going <laughs> on? This is crazy, isn't it? Um, it's all a bit chaotic, isn't it? Basically, it was only on the beginning of December that the Home Office announced a package of measures to bring the levels of net migration from the current three quarters of a million people coming in legally a year down by 300,000. One of the measures that they announced was this change to the minimum income requirement. Basically, that's the amount of money that a household has to earn before somebody already living here can bring their partner or a other family member into the UK. It was 18,500. The government were planning to double it to nearly 39,000 from the spring with not much notice at all. There was huge outcry. There was probably going to be a legal challenge as well saying this is going to mean that thousands of people, families will be separated and this is just not right. Then yesterday, it rather chaotically emerged that the government had a bit of a rethink 
So now they've sort of split the difference between the nearly 19,000 it was, the nearly 39,000 which it was gonna be, they've said from the spring, it's going to be 29,000 and it will go up, ultimately they say, to 38,700. But they're going to in, do it incrementally. In stages. So that might seem very, very sensible. Uh, of course, what it's done is it's managed to upset a lot of people because it upset a lot of people initially when people were saying this is cruel, this is very unfair. And now they've rowed back a bit. They've upset a whole different set of people who say, why are you going soft on this? Mm. So, and even within the Conservative Party, you've got people like um, Damien Green, who was former immigration minister, saying this is very sensible. People on the right of the party, like Jonathan Gullis, saying deeply disappointing and undermines our efforts. But I think worth noting that of this 300,000 that this whole package of measures was due to, is due to bring immigration down by, the original change was only predicted. As a matter of fact, quite a number of people are actually excited with this news. Some other people are actually, you know, of the opinion that the government is indecisive. They have no control over their plan to reduce net migration. And, you know, a lot of people have their contrary thoughts or, you know, opinion about the fact that the government don't know what they want and they don't know actually have to go about it. So yeah, so what other people think, oh, the government is making a decision without proper thinking. And now that they've got like a back backlash, they're not trying to go over their you know decision. But anyway, the only uh, you know plan basically or the only thoughts around this is we're hoping that in as much as one of this policy has actually been amended, the question is is there a possibility of some of the other policies also being adjusted to ensure that you know lots of people don't miss out you know on being able to apply for visa or come into the UK on different um, visa category. So yeah let's listen to what people who have like a contrary opinion on what has been happening as to say as regards the new um, you know announcement being made by the government in regards to the salary threshold requirement for the family. Could we call it so James cleverly said to the House of Commons that we were increasing the income threshold, which is the amount of money you could have to earn before you can come to this country's work, to £38,700 from what it currently is, including the discount of 18600 Now, does that seem like a big jump to you? Well, apparently it felt like a heck of a big jump to the government because they've changed their mind. And in fact, in April, it will only rise to 29000 But this is not, listen to me, this is not apparently a U-turn. <laughs> despite being the diametric opposite of what James <laughs> cleverly announced to the House of Commons. This is a pause. But we don't know when the pause is going to come to an end. They're not going to tell us when the 38,700 will become the new cap. Uh, is this all going ter terribly well? It's not going well at all. It, it is quite clearly a U-turn, even if Absolutely. they say at some point in the future we'll make it 38 grand. We'll wait until Labour have taken over and then it's not our responsibility anymore. We'll raise it to 29 grand and then let Labour just reverse it. Um, this, this is just ridiculous. I think what happened is they rushed to get some policies out to calm the storm. Uh, that is, you know, the endless headlines about the migrant crisis. And so they didn't really consult many people on this. There's been a lot of pushback I mean, um, I think on just policies the from, I mean, from the care sector saying, you didn't consult us, you haven't thought about the implications of this. And so now, after they've rushed the policy out, gotten a lot of backlash, they've decided they're going to roll back. But they've got to have a backbone. Stick to it. People just have no faith in politicians' Absolutely. promises I think that's the point, anymore. Isn't it? Say something and stick to yeah. it. Well, I think we, um, the Prime Minister tweeted about this. I, and... Um, he said in his tweet that uh, he had cut 300,000 from that record figure of 750,000, three quarters of a million people who came to the UK. And he linked it to this announcement. Do you think, Matthew, he'll hit that 300,000? So in my opinion, I think this is good news in itself. At least one of the, uh, you know, uh, five points policy or agenda has actually been, you know, uh, been adjusted to favor a lot of people. So we're hoping that, you know, more adjustment is going to come up in the next, um, you know, next couple of weeks before it has been actually, um, you know, updated on gov.uk. So if you have any thoughts around this, please it in the comment section. And if you, you know, um, find this video resourceful or enlightening, please click on the like button, comment across my channel for the first time to hit the subscribe button to join the amazing growing family. And by turning subscribers, thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate you guys. So this will be the end of this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.